Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. All right, so we basically have the game going and looking pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and let's add in um, a heads-up display. So I'm going to add in a user interface, call it a heads-up display. And in there, we're going to add in two text boxes. So we're going to just basically add this in here, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And we'll call this, uh, you know, total cubes make it zero and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna literally copy and paste that move it over here and then make sure it's right justified so it just looks a little bit better and we'll call this cubes remaining okay and then we just want to make sure that these are on the same kind of line here I think that is no this needs to be down one more yeah I think that works and then if we kind of move it up or down that's still not right so let's just make sure that these are there in the right spot here and okay there we go okay so that is looking pretty good so far now a couple things that we can do here is that we have uh, you know this is text block here uh, we can call this total and we can call this remaining just like that here um, and what we're gonna do is we need to bind these okay so let's start with this one here we're just gonna create binding and then you can see it says get total text hop back in here and all this is all this is gonna do is this is gonna allow us to uh, to uh, change the text here. So there's a couple things that we need to do. Hop back into our game mode. We have total cubes collected, and then we have total cubes. Okay. And what I'm also going to do is just um, delete the, uh, the the debug there. So the first one here, uh, total, we're going to cast to top down game mode, and we're going to get game mode right and then as this game mode we are going to get and then we're going to say total cubes and we're just going to drag it in there now if you're if you've taken one of these um videos or if, you know if you see there's a problem with what i just did but we'll deal with that later okay uh, get top down or um top down game mode we're going to cast uh or get game mode right and then we're going to say we're just going to type in collected, I believe, uh, get the total collected, and we'll just add it here. And so, so basically, uh, if we compile, save that, I think everything, oh, we didn't, do, we didn't actually do that here. Oh, top-down game mode here. Um, let's hop back into the event graph here. Let's add in another function, and we'll call this set up HUD. And in that HUD, we're going to create widget. What widget are we going to create? We're going to create the heads-up display. And then we're going to add to viewport. So we're basically going to add it to the viewport here. Then we're going to make sure that we cast a set up HUD. Because if you don't do that, it won't work. So let's go ahead and let's do that everything here. And look at that. You can see that we have, you know, one, two, three. And hmm, so that is kind of interesting. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. So let's hop back into our HUD and see what went wrong right so here we go we have the total cubes and we also have the uh, total collected cubes so this is um, uh, total collected cubes and I think what I've done is I've actually uh, reversed uh, those here okay and what's interesting yeah and so I've, I've definitely reversed them here so we're gonna get uh, total total cubes drag that in here and then um, we're going to say total cubes collected, right? and then just drag that in here, and then just simply play it in here, and there you go, right? 
So that's good. And that is looking pretty good. However, you notice that we it would be better if we said cubes remaining and then total cubes. Okay, so if we did that, there is another step that we have to do. And so what we need to do is actually quite simple. So let's go ahead, let's add in a variable here, and we'll call this um, re, um, this one it is total text, and we have to make this a string. Okay, so we'll make it a string here. Let's go compile it, and we'll say um, cubes collected, and we'll add in a colon and a space. That's really important here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some room here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out here, get total text, and we will append. Okay, so what are we going to append here? Well, we're going to append this um, uh, to text here. And I believe that you can probably just do that. Yeah, and that does work here. But the total text should uh, should work here. So let's go ahead and let's compile that. And then let's just take a quick look at how this works here. All right. And then you can see cubes collected. And sure enough, it does work. So let's hop back into the HUD and let basically do the exact same thing with the other um, uh, he, uh, the other one here. So it, it's literally the same thing. However, uh, it's you can maybe add in another variable or you could set the variable at the beginning. But it's probably best if you just make another variable. We'll say um, uh, we'll say um, and actually we won't call this total text. Uh, we will call this collected text. And then this one, this one will be total text, right? And then compile here. And then this one here will be um, total cubes, right? Make that like that. And it's pretty much, we're going to get in there, append. We can delete this. Because if we're going to convert to integer, you don't need to convert it twice. I believe that's all you need to do. Let's go ahead and compile it first. By the way, um, this can crash Unreal. And there you go. That looks pretty good. And so this is, gives you something that's kind of interesting here. Um, not only does it, um, you know, uh, for instance, uh, add give you the total amount of cubes, but, you know, it's like the reason why I wanted to give the total amount of cubes is because, like, if you're, you know, since there's a lot of them, it's like, well, how many do I have left? Well, four, okay, so I have, um, I have left here, okay? And then if we really wanted to, we could probably um, change this so that we have cubes remaining. But, you know, I think this is pretty good for now. All right. Thanks for watching. And please be sure to like and subscribe. As of now, this channel is not monetized. So please help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. Also, if you really like this channel, we don't do Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. We have Unreal courses, machine learning courses, and everything. And if you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Math Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every month. And it is some of the best and most practical e-learning content out there. So please help us out. It really does help us out when you subscribe. Uh, we have monthly and yearly options. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.